up anglers trout made here at Santa Ana River Lakes um, we're here doing some fishing I'm here with the trout candy baits crew and we're having a good time and I got uh, a nice rainbow mount last in here this morning very early um, and the bites kind of uh, just kind of comes in waves a little bit here and there um, but I wanted to bring to you guys the technique I used to catch this mountain lass and trout here at Santa Ana River Lakes because we know that this is a tough lake to fish, okay? You could do uh, dead sticking power bait, mice tails, jigging, and what I did though today, I was using the drop shot technique. And this is a bass technique, but a lot of people, a lot of anglers now are using this for trout. The great thing about the drop shot technique is uh, versus jigging for example when you're jigging you're keeping your bait your plastic in the water column and that's why you're jigging right so keep it off the ground or you're bouncing it off the ground but you keep it in that water water column that strike zone the sweet spot with drop shot okay you have your weight and your baits there and your baits constantly in the strike zone okay your bait is constantly in the strike zone and you're gonna have to play with your depths okay uh, again I got about 10 inches right here I'm gonna go through the setup right now using trout candy baits pearl pixie pearl white pixie I threw that on there and I have about 10 inches of leader onto a drop shot weight and I believe it's probably I don't know the weight to be honest with you I'm not gonna jive you but uh, it's it's the smallest one and then I also have a the next size up if you need to get out a little deeper with a size 8 owner hook okay I use a size 8 because it's a little bigger of a bait if you have a smaller bait, you want to use a size 10 owner hook. I'm going to be using my Phoenix Elixir 7.6 Ultralight 2 to 6 pound test rod. Okay, it has a split grip, and I'm also going to be using my Daiwa Legalis 1000 Delta. Okay, I love this. It's a little heavy for a 1000 size reel, but very sturdy very smooth uh, when you reel and it's just something strong uh, when you got those bows on the end of your line to, to tame them and let the reel do the work for you all right anglers so one more thing about the drop shot technique is the knot okay so I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to tie this knot here is uh, the equipment tackle you'll need and the knot you'll need to tie for the drop shot Now you want to go down through the hook, I, and this is where you're going to kind of set your depth, okay? Then I'm going to come back up through the hook eye. Now. You want to keep that loop about right there, okay? You want to stop there. Now you're going to tie kind of just your regular overhand knot. Loop goes into the hole. Then your hook goes through that loop. All right, get it wet. And tie. And just go ahead and play around with this. It's horizontal there, see? Then you take the end, your leader, okay, but your weight's on the bottom, so. Now this is where you adjust your leader length. 
Right now we got about 12 inches. Pull into the little swivel there and then you want to clip your tag in. Lastly, you want to get your plastic bait, okay? My preference, trout candy baits, and I love the pixie. Throw that little nose hook. And now you're ready for the drop shot anglers. So without further ado, here is the drop shot technique here at Santa Ana River Lakes. So let's put this drop shot to work, anglers. Let's get it out there. Your line's gonna go slack when it hits the bottom. You always wanna keep a tight line on your drop shot rig. You could jig it, give it some action. You definitely wanna pause or even crawl it along the bottom. As always, anglers, thank you for watching. Subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll see you soon. Trout made, out. On the drop shot, uh, the pearl white pixie. Yep.